What's up guys? I'm Arsene from Osmer Tech. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Today I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? Because we got this. Bum, bum, bum. It's from Armor Case. Armor Case right here. This is the super uh, cooling case for the Raspberry Pi. So I'm excited. Armor Case sent me this out. They also sent this out to me. This is the Super Pi case. So they both came in the package. I'm really grateful. I love these devices. Can't wait to super cool the Raspberry Pi. All right guys, so this is the Armor Case right here. And I have a Raspberry Pi 3 on this side here. So we're gonna super cool the Raspberry Pi 3 using this Armor Case. Pretty cool case, right? So let's open it up. Let's check it out. All right, first off. You got this fan right here. Now this is the top of the case. These are the fans. They go on top. There's a top piece and a bottom piece. I'll show you guys that in a second. It comes with screws. It comes with thermal adhesive tape right here. And if we remove this from the box right here. All right, this is the bottom of the case, I guess. So we're gonna set this up right now. Let's get started. I got this little precision screwdriver right here that'll fit these screws. All right, so the first thing it says to do is install the thermal tape on this heat sink right here. So this is the thermal tape. Let's open it up. Now there's three, there are three pieces. I'm guessing the, this one is for here because it fits perfectly. I'm just gonna remove the bottom part. This is a two-sided thermal tape, by the way. So it's uh, heat transfer, it transfers over heat. So it's gonna transfer over heat to this cooling right here. I'll show you how, how that works in a second. All right, you got the first side down. I'm gonna carefully just put it on this piece of tape right here. All right, line that out. Now remove the blue side. So there's a blue side. That's the other side. I'm gonna remove the blue side. All right, so the blue side is removed. We'll leave that right here. Turn this other one around. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. There's a bigger one that goes here and the smaller one that goes right there. Make sure I put it on straight. And move the blue side. Remove that one. One more on the bottom. The little tiny piece. All right, so we're done removing the tape. The next step is to place the Raspberry Pi on top of this right here, this first piece. I'm gonna make sure I lined it up perfectly. All right, so now the next step is we're gonna actually put the Raspberry Pi on top of this panel right here. Gonna make sure we line it up perfectly. Okay, it is lined up. Now we're gonna put on the top panel. All right, so the top and bottom panels are on right now. So now these screws will go in. All right guys, so the case is fully screwed in. It's amazing, really strong. As you can see, it's got two fans right here. Really strong. It's like made out of really hard metal. And these two fans, we, we know it's gonna freaking cool this Raspberry Pi. So I can't wait to test it out. Now all I'm doing is just installing the jumper to the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins here. This is, this is the cable to the GPIO pin. This is exactly where it tells me to, actually it goes up the other way around. Right spot, but the other way around. All right, so it, it is in. We are 100% ready to test this out. All right guys, so I bought a battery pack with a cable. We're gonna try to power this thing on, see if it works. I have it connected there. Now let's connect it to the back of the Raspberry Pi. All right, so as you can see, only one of the fans are moving for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if that's part of uh, like the whole like circuit. If only one is supposed to go on, then another one goes on another time. But if, uh, if it was damaged uh, during shipping, I'm sure I could fix it. It's probably like a wire loose or something. I have an awesome soldering kit, a soldering station. So I, I'll definitely check it out. And uh, this video, I just wanted to show you guys that you know this, uh, this thing exists. Uh, I wanted to do the unboxing and put it together. In the next video, we're gonna run benchmarks. I'm gonna have two Raspberry Pis. I'm gonna have this one, an identical one, and we're gonna run some benchmarks. I wanna see if, uh, we, had, we get any improvement with this case right here, because remember, this is an awesome case. And um, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description if you guys are interested. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossBirdTech.com, and thank you guys for watching.
Yeah.